Peter, the small town of Sydney, located in southwestern Iowa's Fremont County, will host one of the longest running outdoor rodeos in the United States. Starting in 1923, the town of Sydney has held its championship rodeo. So this August will mark its 99th year. Over 35,000 visitors will come to Rodeo Town USA the first week in August and be greeted by a very large rodeo arena and grandstand, as well as many local businesses that sport a rodeo motif year round. Okay, I'm still at the rodeo grounds, eh? Big thing in the last few years is making these boots, uh, decorate boots or whatever it is. You can see that's like, there's a little box on there. And there's another one down there. As you can see, it's on a pole down there. Uh, that's kind of what we got looking here. But uh, I'm gonna might take a trip around town. Town's loaded with stuff like this. Rodeo Town USA. A huge boot right there on the corner. right in front of the bank. It's huge, huge boot. We're still looking at the rodeo motif down there in the back of the bank. Here is the museum. Says Iowa's Championship Fremont County Historical Society Iowa Championship Rodeo Museum, and there's another boot right there. Got a bunch of neat stuff inside. I'll have to go in there some game, get a little picture of it. We're in the front lobby now. Some of the Rodeo memorabilia. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of more close to the Sydney Iowa Rodeo. And here is a program from 1938, August 16 through 19, it says 25 cents. And talks a little bit about Indian villages, so forth. With permission of proper authorities, the tribe of Sioux Indians have been transported from the reservation for special appearances at each and every performance of rodeo. On the, Midway, we will find a typical Indian village in charge, which is open to the public. They brought them from the reservation just for the rodeo. Former champions. They've got programs from all over the rodeo. There they are, circa 1948. American Legion Drill Team, 1947 to 1949. Bunch of pennants. You can't have a championship or anything without pennants. And there's one of the drill team saddles. But here's the big deal over here in the rodeo. We've got a bunch of stuff here. 1952, Bill Linder's Sydney Iowa Championship Cowboy Buckle he wore in 52 was given to Ann Gilbert, a former Sydney resident. Ann was the daughter of George and Florence Gilbert, one of the founders of the rodeo. That's a championship belt buckle. 
and all around it says on this one it says all around champion on this saddle 1956 Cheyenne Frontier Days Championship saddle won by Jim Shoulders not from Sydney but this was uh, Cheyenne Frontier Days a big deal and he was a world champ a lot of people he was called the Babe Ruth of rodeo and there is his championship all around cowboy saddle but you got to come back on down if you're in Fremont County Iowa Sydney you want to come down to the rodeo museum and historical society museum